in, uh, at uh, um, opening the pavement. Yes, yes, I remember this show. Uh, and uh, th this this show was even harder than the one you did at the, at the uh, in Rome at the Palatlantico before pavement. This was harder. Yeah, What yeah, do you it mean was. Harder? Ah, well, you did uh, a lot of uh, crazy things, more crazy things. Uh, maybe it was the, the environment of the, of the club, you know? Uh, yeah, it's a festival. You were really wild, you know? I, I like when uh, you asked the girl to spank you with, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the trash bin. <laughs> yes. No? <laughs> I no, can't uh, say. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Okay. So um, I think that uh, um, the, the trendsetters actually are bands that uh, play really cool music with a cool attitude where they don't even move on stage, you know, they, they make the emphasis on coolness, uh, on style and uh, instead you are the complete opposite, you know, you are wild, you are natural, you are... Uh, you We are not cast. cool. Yeah, you are not cool but you are wild. That's, I, I think I that's better. We are wild, but we are not cool. We are not cool. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but it's hard to be cool <laughs> from Israel. It's not something. I mean, if you, if you no? want to be cool, you should be um, from Ghent. <laughs> you know, New York City. Tel Aviv? It's, nah. it's like being from Rome or from Turin, maybe. <laughs> uh, I think that if you are from Israel, you can be wild. Yeah, not, I agree. Not cool. Anyway, you have uh, great success, you know. Thank you. Yeah, and this, this year you have, you have got uh, a lot of shows all over Europe, all yes, over the world. Yes, yes, so yes. So how do you explain this great success, uh, even if it's opposite to the trendsetters, you know? Ooh. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I think that we're supported by God and God's love us and... But it's not God's your God. Us. We have a different God. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's don't uh, no, don't no, speak no. about religion. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you care about it. <laughs> But anyway, um, you're having great success. And do you think that people is maybe tired about uh, cool bands not moving on stage, making this uh, twee music like uh, with uh, small sounds like. Uh, cool sounds but not wild not uh, uh, kick ass you know maybe there, there is a trend that is, is growing uh, for punk rock for hardcore I think that there is the truth that it doesn't matter what kind of music you're doing if you're doing it with honesty and always your heart and you got something to deliver to the people I think you will get it if not <laughs> yeah. There are always another things that you can do. So the the main thing is to be sincere on stage to do what you what you want to do for real and not to play a part, not to play a character. And take care of the hair. This is very yeah. important. Yeah. The hair. <laughs> We can say do you use any balm to uh, for balm, <laughs> palm, <laughs> uh, uh, ointments, uh, many many uh, things, conditioners, shampoos, mm -hmm. Uh, we, we exchange uh, companies, we exchange uh, recommendations, the wife, air stylist, the oh, wives okay. are uh, also uh, <laughs> contributing, uh, it's an issue, and the moustache, of course. Even for your body hair, you know? Ah, the, the body hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's <n> I <laughs> really not so, I'm not a function in this. <laughs> He has got more body hair, probably. Of course. <laughs> He's more serious. So, uh, <laughs> I want to know something about uh, the location. I mean, you, you have played outside just uh, there, and uh, uh, do you prefer to play during festival or in the club? What's the difference? Uh, I think that there would be a lot of problem in uh, moving inside uh, some... No? No. We like to play outside, inside, whatever they want us to play, we play. <laughs> okay. There's no problem. No complaints. From uh, the from street till the arenas. The arena. No complaints from the owner of the festival or... <laughs> no. Usually no. we know how to do it, so... Uh, you know, we are very professional about moving the our instruments. You choose the places before? No. Uh, you say no? Okay. Yeah. Come and see. Okay. So, 
what is the craziest thing or the most insane thing you have ever done off stage or on stage, I don't know, during a live show? He almost burned himself. He what? put fire to himself. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. On his body. Yeah, on his body, yeah. yeah. Oh, you did it only one time? <laughs> oh, several times. Yeah, several times. Oh, there was a period of time that we've done it almost every show. Wow. Yeah. You must have uh, burns all over your, <laughs> your body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I burn myself a lot. Okay, you, you have a really peculiar look, you know? You, you seem like coming from the 70s, I don't know. But uh, um, where did you take uh, inspiration for your look? On, who, who is your uh, fashion coach? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> your stylist. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it grow. That's the motto, let it grow. Uh, you, you are talking about your beard? <laughs> everything, everything, let everything grow. Yeah. Everything. yeah, so very natural, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nature, God is your stylist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let it grow. yeah thank you. And uh, how did this uh, project um, started? Uh, um, I mean, uh, um, did you sit uh, in a table uh, at the table of a pub in uh, Tel Aviv and said, "Okay, let's make this band"? The, like the Geffen owner. Uh, we were sitting in New York at the 50. Uh, <laughs> <I don't laughs> so. We saw Central Park, and then a Geffen owner came and said, "Ami, what is the next thing?" And Ami thought, and we thought about it, and then, uh, oops, Eureka! He has an idea, and we we gathered all the newspapers and Reuters and CNN and declared it. And then issued the, the helicopter. And, uh, it was in LA. LA, probably LA. Too much, uh, <laughs> yeah, too much coke and uh, okay. drinks. And it, it is uh, obvious no, that no, you're no, no, lying. No coke. Okay. No coke. <laughs> but uh, okay. No, no, no. But it's, it's it's almost begin like this, you know. Well, every time, every 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 show is we're looking for something new. You know what I mean? Just not get bored, and we improvise things that we want to do. But uh, the basic idea was there from the beginning. Yeah. Why did you have this need to, to explode on stage, you know? Off stage. Off stage, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Didn't think about it. Maybe I can be your psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But um, how much you charge for? Uh, oh, uh, it's <laughs> for you. It's for free. Oh. <laughs> okay. And um, now I have got a bad question. You know, I, I will be the um, devil's advocate. Um, some people say that you put this big emphasis on on uh, performer or um, performing or because um, you are not so skilled with your instruments, because you don't want to focus on music. Who says it? I, I said this criticism sometime, a friend of mine, for example. So if you want to take a vengeance, look in the camera and answer him. <laughs> 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 okay. And yeah, yeah. do you think you will ever uh, come back playing in Israel? No. Why? I don't find any, any point to play there anymore. I mean, while we, we go back there, I want to rest, be with our families, chill out, I don't know. I don't find any reason to play there right now. Maybe in the future, maybe, but I'm not sure about it. I, I heard that in some clubs uh, you, you have been banned from uh, Israel. You can but, say so in the... But why? It's crazy. You must understand that the venues in Israel are pretty conservative about the way that uh, you look on a rock show. And uh, when, we, when we just started playing, they didn't know how to deal with it. So they prefer to not let us play there again in their venues. But the, you know, always the few places that the DIY places that you can do whatever you want, but uh, it's not something that you can build a country with it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. And uh, is it true that you have been stopped with a machine gun one time? Machine gun? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's kind of uh, crazy for us, you know, even if we live in Italy. <laughs> it's it not, was crazy it's not for us too. It was crazy for us too. <laughs> 
I mean, it was very extreme thing that the the cops came with a <laughs> with a machine gun. And stuff. Maybe th- that's the most extreme thing you have been <laughs> doing on stage. I can say <laughs> yeah. so. Yeah, <laughs> off stage. Yeah. After all, I can say that it okay. was very extreme. Uh, uh, about Israel, the, maybe you you need um, the people in Israel need the more rock and roll attitude than uh, the one uh, the live on England or uh, in America they are get used to. Hmm. I don't know if they need it. I don't think people in Israel really need rock and roll. You know what I mean? They don't need it. They got many more troubles. They don't need another one. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think that uh, involving the people and making them uh, get off, express and so on, is it so important and why do you like it? It's fun that everybody is, is I don't know, is, that everybody is a part of the show. It's not yeah. just a band and the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody is together. Wanna have party together. Everybody. You will ever get used to this kind of show, this kind of performing. I'm, I mean, uh, after uh, I don't know how many shows did, did you just uh, do, but uh, I think uh, you, it could become a, a routine too, even if uh, it doesn't seem. Uh, but uh, I, I know, did you ever think about that? Maybe you will get tired with this? Well, Naturally, yes. <laughs> We're also recording now a new album uh, in Chicago with Steve Albini. Uh, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is he cool? <laughs> If he's cool, it doesn't mean that we are cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> But we really enjoyed working with him. And, uh, and he's, he's crazy, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, crazy in being very straight. <laughs> yeah, But not as a person, I don't know him as a person, but as a producer, he always did crazy stuff, uh, melt banana, like yeah, yeah, yeah. things like that. So, so I, I think it's, he is the best producer for you. And uh, how does the new record, will, uh, how do the new record will sound with uh, Steve Albini involved in it? We like it very much. Actually, we were very happy with what came out. And um, we're looking forward to see. Yeah, is it different? <laughs> Can you give us a hint about it? Is it uh, something different? With you. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> no, not very words. No, on the contrary, it's us. It's very us. Like uh, it really matches what we wanted and uh, what we expected it to be. And uh, it's free. And we we liked uh, what uh, what came out. What so. would be the title of the record? Uh, no, no okay. not yet. N- we don't okay. yet know it. Oh, uh, <laughs> not I missed yet. the scoop. <laughs> 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 okay. Anyway, we are uh, really eager to to hear it. Thank you. And uh, thank you for for the interview. You have been thank really. Thank you. Kind. Thank you for having us here. Have a good rest. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We should. <laughs> you earned it. All right. Thank you, man. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you. Very kind.